1,500 metres. And we talk about the men's 800 is going to be quite the finish. How about this? You're going to see the greatest miler the US has produced in Jenny Simpson, the 2016 Rio bronze medalist. Have a listen to this. Fastest ever by an American representing New Balance, Jenny Simpson. You know, Jenny Simpson has three gold medals. She's so decorated, but she wants this fourth Olympic team. She is driven. It hasn't been an easy road here. It's been a bumpy start to her season, but she's here and she is ready content to contend for that fourth team. So you look at the veteran and the experience and the accolades, and then you look at the young charge, and that young charge comes from 26-year-old Ellie Puria St. Pierre of Vermont. She stands there proudly representing the farming community. She grew up and is still very much a part of the farming community. Grew up on a dairy farm in Vermont. And she said, that hard work ethic is what I carry through to my on-track performance. Absolutely, it's given her an incredible work ethic and it pays off in her training and how she approaches life and racing. Keep an eye on Nikki Hiltz. You know, Hiltz has looked so good through the rounds. They've run clear and smart, and they've given themselves a great shot at this moment. Let's go. Women's 1,500 meter final. And there is very little wind. Oh, there's some pushing and shoving. And Ellie Puria St. Pierre has a look around as she got pushed off track. Oh, man, that is so distracting. You know, now there's a lot of bickering. You know, I was worried this might happen. You have so many incredible women on. They all are good finishers. So nobody wants to take it out that hard. Nobody wants to be the one with the target on their back. And when that happens, you see bunching. People don't get out as quick, and you start to see some tripping. Well, this is... This is quite interesting because Ellie's comments after the semi-final was it wasn't my plan to lead from the front but I wanted to make sure I got out and got away from the mess behind she just got tangled up in that mess yeah you know again we saw this yesterday that does such an adrenaline shot through your body and then you have to come down from it and focus she still has 1200 meters to run there's still a lot of running to do she needs to relax refocus on what she's doing right now Corey McGee runs second hip number five there Corey who has been training with Joe Bossard it's Emma Coburn's husband. She said that Joe has got her to the highest fitness level of her career. She is the best she has ever been. Let's see if that translates to an Olympic berth. You know, Joe Bossard really pushed her on her mileage and her strength, and that's hoping to pay off today. We see right behind her Danny Jones, who she trains with, the University of Colorado four-time NCAA champion, and right behind her is Nikki Hiltz. Hiltz ran, you may remember, at the 2019 World Championships in Doha, Qatar. That was great experience for Nikki. We see right behind Nikki, we see Sinclair Johnson and Shannon Osiko have both had really great years this year. Both poised to make a run for it here. And then we see Simpson. Simpson is the veteran. She doesn't panic early on. She knows if she can keep her composure, stay in the hunt, she has a chance over that last 100 meters. So Jenny moves past Sinclair Johnson and up one more position. Field still led by Ellie Puria St. Pierre. The real ignition point for Puria St. Pierre was last winter early 2020 when she broke the american record in the indoor mile that was a real turning point of her career a real point of self-belief that she was at that elite level and look at her run now you know ellie said per your st pierre is not messing around here i talked to her coach mark Hugo, who told me she might take this race she didn't want to leave anything up to risk she felt comfortable leading from the front we saw her do this in mount sac earlier this year and he said that was all planned in preparation for this moment right now. Corey McGee ahead of Danny Jones. These two train together. Shannon Oseeker there in the blue and green. Shannon's come up into the top four and they've broken away from Jenny Simpson and Nikki Hiltz. You know, it's so hard to run from the front like this, like Perrier St. Pierre is doing. But one thing I'll say about her, she is able to squeeze down the pace slowly and surely without any tell on her face or her body. She always looks so composed. So she might be squeezing it down and you don't even realize it. As we see, a gap is opening up between them and third place. Here we go. It is one on one. Ellie Puria St. Pierre up against Corey McGee, the 29 year old from Mississippi. They have broken away from Shannon Oseka. This is the race of Corey McGee's life. She has wanted this so bad. She has not made a U.S. team since 2013, and she is determined to make this happen today. They've met the Olympic standard. 
the two ladies up front. So has Shannon Oseka, by the way, who runs third. But it is Puria St. Pierre up against McGee in the Olympic trials in the women's 1500. Top three get a, a burst to Tokyo. Oseka has lost that third spot. Ellie Puria St. Pierre has now broken away. She's in a league of her own in this race. And she's going to become an Olympian. Ellie Puria St. Pierre is off to Tokyo. Winning the women's 1500 in 358.03. It's tight for that third spot. Oseka's going to miss out. I think it may have been Helen McLean. Lee, Helen McLean got into this race on protest. She finished outside of the capabilities to advance to the final, and she protested her way in. Now she just placed top three at the Olympic trials. Puria St. Pierre, Corey McGee, and Heather McLean, the top three. What a run by all three of these women. A year away from competition just made Puria St. Pierre more dedicated, more determined, and more confident. Let's go back to the start of this race and the physicality in the opening meters. Check this out. Look to the right. Ellie Puria St. Pierre. You know, it was like everyone just cut in so quick and they ended up bumping her right off the track and she is not happy about it. I can't imagine what went through her mind and the adrenaline surge. And here we see the home stretch. Ellie Perrier St. Pierre always looks so relaxed. She looks like she's jogging all the time. And Corey McGee is fighting for the race of her life. And we see Heather McLean, who almost didn't make this final, finishing, coming down here in third. And she gets the Olympic standard. Here's that race for third. Shannon Osika actually started to come back on McLean, but McLean was there. She wasn't going to give it up. She had to go a little quicker and just lean at the end under the Olympic standard headed to Tokyo. Ellie Puria St. Pierre, it wasn't her first Olympic trials. She said, I'm way different than I was in 2016. I've learned how to manage the nerves and channel that into positive energy. And she's victorious. Ellie Puria St. Pierre, her folks have come all the way from Vermont, by the way. She's now going to the Olympic Games, along with Corey McGee and Heather McLean. 358.03, that's a new Olympic trials record, by the way. And that was a determined run from the 26-year-old from Vermont. Here's Lewis Johnson. All right, well, the celebration is underway here for sure. So tell me about just crossing the line first and a big win to win these Olympic trials, well, now headed to Tokyo. Well, yeah, you know, I just very much. was really, really excited. And, you know, I just wanted to get out there and make it honest, make it fast. And when I turned around and saw my two New Balance teammates behind me, I was so fucking excited. <laughs> How did you survive the uh, big push at the beginning there? The shock of that? Oh, yeah, you know, honestly, it just motivated me to get out more. I was like, I don't want to mess around with all this stuff. Yeah. Excellent. Also, uh, I'd like to give a special shout out, shout out and dedicate my race to Riley St. here and her parents because she passed away recently. And, you know, the strength that they show is way bigger than anything that I've done here. And we add so our like condolences as well. Peace. All righty, thank you. Corey, Hi. third Olympic trials. Here you are. What do you think? Oh, man. Hayward magic. It's real. I've been working my butt off. I made a big move to Colorado two years ago, and I haven't looked back. And that's why I'm here today. And Heather, you are here as well. Yeah. Unbelievable. You just started running in high school, and now here you are an Olympian. What do you make of this? I just, I'm in awe. I'm so honored to serve next to my two, two New Balance teammates. It's, it's amazing, and I never thought I'd be here today, and here I am, and it's surreal, really. It's surreal, and we'll see you guys in Tokyo. Congratulations. The three teammates are off to Tokyo, and despite a pretty rough start, Ellie Puria St. Pierre ran away from everybody to win here at the Olympic trials.